the report on the revenue sharing formula. Senate leadership says it's determined to have the disputed third generation revenue sharing formula passed come Tuesday after senators failed to agree on yesterday's seating. Now, the Jubilee Party has already issued a warning to its members who opposed the amendments issued by Minority Whip Irongo Kangata yesterday. Elizabeth Mutuku with the details. The Senate failed to agree on a formula to share 316.5 billion shillings meant for the counties for the financial year 2020-2021. The third generation formula causing more division in the Senate after the sitting was adjourned for the sixth time without a consensus. I am advising the current president to be more accessible for us to be enabled us to solve these problems. We would not have been here if it was more accessible. I'm telling you without being afraid. Tuesday's sitting was the sixth sitting, which was unfruitful to the Senate over which formula to be used. Counties will remain without their budgets for the financial year 2020-2021 for the second month now. Senate is yet to debate the Nairobi Senator John Sosakaja's proposal, though Senate Majority Leader Samuel Pogisio says they must have a solution by Tuesday next week. It is absolutely clear we've tried to convince members that the Kangata Amendment had a better, much better way of looking at the situation uh, than, than the, the Sakaja one. And so um, we, we, we really hope that we can get um, the Sakaja one out of the way, come back to the committee report, and move in that direction to now bring members together. Senators in support of the third generation formula and who voted for the amendments raised by Majority Whip Erongo Kangata, which would have seen the third generation formula deferred for two years, have vowed to pass the disputed formula come Tuesday next week. So I can tell you in uncertain times it is illegality, it will be defeated because I know the mood of the house, it will not succeed. What 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 comes up is that we will pass the public finance management public fin budget and public finance committee motion as it is will not change we i think the uh, the issue of negotiations and the issue of uh, trying to grandstand and stand off must come to an end a section of senators say the senate is not to be blamed for the stalemate since it's working to have a win-win formula considering the inadequate funds in the counties attempting to divide what is not enough the viciousness of that fight, the division you see when people fight over inadequate money is what is informing this standoff and this likely fallout. If there was adequate money, then this kind of fallout would not be there. We hope that our amendments will be able to pass. If they do pass, then of course Narrow County will continue getting its $8 billion, uh, until the time that we can be able to raise more money. And when we do raise more money, uh, then we, that money can also be added into um, the narrow county revenue. The disputed third generation formula will see 19 counties lose close to 17 billion shillings while 29 counties gain out of it. The formula which its key parameter is population unlike the previous formula which considered landmass. I, Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, yes. I vote no. Yes. Senators have until next week to either pass or shoot down Sakaja's amendment or pass the Kibiru-led committee report. Elizabeth Motuko, TV 47 Nairobi.